we were here for the last three days or two days it turned out that there was an event we got locked into the event because people just presumed that um, we were part of it because they were trying to paint job <laughs> yeah, I think the new paint job on the van. We were here the night before the event and there was some music and stuff so yeah. since it was a walk away from the van it made sense we could yeah. check on the dogs and we could go and listen to music so then we slept in the van afterwards yeah. quite late and in the morning we got up at like 10 or 11 a.m. Yeah, we even managed to go. Everywhere. There were people even sitting on the floor here, there were like food trucks, like there were it was a pedestrian everywhere. zone. So I mean we couldn't have even left if we wanted to. We even if we stuck. wanted to, yeah. But there were other camper vans around like to look cool and like no one was living them. There were like old yeah. Volkswagens and there was one other guy with a camper so we kind of looked somehow. Yeah. Like but we, uh, yeah. And it was a really weird, um, there's some movie stuff around here like uh, movie set places for movie props and it, yeah. we've got all photos of it so I guess at least it's something for the blog. Yeah. So if you wanted to see what it is. Then, then maybe I'll, I'll upload a couple it, photos. It'll on be the video. quite hard, I think, to explain but on the blog what on the it blog, actually we'll, was. We'll explain about what happened. Are we even sure what it was? <laughs> film it. it was some kind of a, uh, event. Yeah. But there's a lot of movie prop places here in Woodstock. But stuff. we actually a managed to go party. to an after party for No More Borders, which was a lot of fun. Like some magazine. It's very weird hipster yeah. things. I'll try to explain Many as much hipsters. as I can What's on the blog. What's this area called again? Sorry. What's the area called? Uh, Oberhafen. Oberhafen. In or Hafen Hamburg. City. And it's by the end, the end of, I think it's the main, the, one of the major um, canals that goes to Hamburg. And it's yeah. right at the end of it, the little black bridge that has trains going on the top and cars going underneath, which is a really cool bridge. We'll probably go under it now, actually. Yeah. So, it's very, very cool. Very yeah. Cool. Sometimes I think things are trying to be so cool that no one actually knows what they are. Yeah. You know? So. It's very strange, but even that that place with movie props and sets, it also had like furniture from the sixties and seventies that they had assembled, and you could buy everything in there. Yeah. But it looks it's half they museum. They had typewriters, half, which yeah, is half a museum and half a <coughs> buying place for movie props if you want to film a movie or just if you want them in your house even. And then it had like a whole like sitting cafe, bar, club area on the back, which was just as weird. Yeah. And very strange. The whole uh, area here is like an old railway. Depot station, I yeah, think, that's it closed. Yeah, And you can see in the photos on the blog, um, which the link is below in the description I, of the I, YouTube I, video. I think that they began so. to change the place in 2010, mm -hmm. wasn't it? No, yeah, well, they've done lots of apartments nearby. Where they used yeah. to have parking, that's why we came here originally, is I thought it was parking. But Google Maps hasn't updated. Yeah. And it turned out not to be parking, and then we just found this, and we just drove into it, and... Apart it, it, I think that they're building enough buildings for 12,000 people to move in, and there will be 40,000 jobs created for people it's to very, work. It's a very odd experience to wake up and kind of stop in the middle of that. So there's, there's another campaign down there even now, look. Hmm. And all down there, that's all the railway stuff. Yeah. And there were like people sitting here. And, uh, all people were everywhere. That we never had money to go to, but the food looked amazing on the, on the quarters. There's some cafe pads there now. There's an electric yeah. car track here on the right. Yeah. There's a massive country. old American RV down the other side. And then this graffiti is really cool. And this trains, the only thing that kept us up all night was the trains going by all the time. Yeah. I love this corner here with the graffiti and this bridge. This is my favorite bridge actually so far I've ever seen. I love it. It's a really cool bridge. It's on the right. And then this cafe is like on a 20 degree slant forwards. It's not flat. Yeah. On the outside and on the inside. Oh, that's the thing. Look. That's the event. So this whole area was like closed off. See no, the, no, no, no. That, that event is... Uh, that's another event. That's starting on the 29th of September. They do a fishing over here too, right? Yeah, people were fishing. See, that was where on Google Maps on the left here, it looked like it was parking. But maybe it's only for events. Or it used to be parking, and that's just for events. Yeah. Out. How does it actually... Okay, I've got it. It's got propellers in the back, and then... I can't believe that that goes in the yeah. water. It's a boat bus. Yeah. How does it go? They have them in Singapore, but they're not that big. Singapore, they're small ones. Now, on the right too. Yummy chicken wraps. 
Yeah, look how good they look. They're wrapped professionally. Wait, what? let me put them nice if you're going to. Oh, send them. oh like a advert style. Oh. We need better lights in here. Those are inefficient and now it's dark. And good. the camera can't film properly when it's that dark. We don't have they do look that good. That's homemade mayonnaise. And chicken wraps. Chicken soup corn. They're really tasty. Mm -hmm. And we have Netflix TV. And we're part of the thing. We should show what part of the dogs don't eat that. I can't really see it though. Oh, it is quite dark out there. But. Can you see me when the car goes by? They have a park by in the corner anyway. There's a few other vans. We were like right on the street in Hamburg. Near a stadium. Yeah. yeah. Right press. Oh, we're real pros over here. I don't know if it was filming or not, we're having conversation time. How about we do this new podcast? It's called Conversation Time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens, but we just rant about how overpriced the internet is. And if it didn't record earlier, how we're going to launch our own satellite and it's going to shoot down all the other satellites of the other stupid companies no, and we're going to give internet for free seriously if to the world many people in the world who are angry like us get together we could totally launch a satellite and shoot down all the other okay, ones okay you could shoot down all the other ones you could shoot down all the other ones and you Put could charge you it. could charge people like five euro per month to mm -hmm. use it that's too much one of whatever their currency is if you're in india it's one ringgit a month is that what they use in india or is that malaysia i can't remember now that's malaysia they use rupees in india rupees one rupee if you're in bulgaria it's one no they yeah, don't use yeah. that anymore do they still use devs they don't use the yes. euro no oh. i'm not saying you every day uh. da, 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 da. you know the the more you know <laughs> rainbow I wish I could put that in and edit it, would be so funny. Could you? I don't know if I have the skills. I don't know if I want to, actually. What do you mean? Don't you have the skills, my team? Yeah, I probably could. I just can't be bothered. Um, you know, one dollar in America, one pound. That way it'd be fair, right? Everyone in every country would have internet for one of whatever their currency is a month. And it would be unlimited, uncapped, unrestricted. And would have to have a massive server. Is room. it true that the internet will finish yeah. or something? Explain I that don't to know. me, please. There's only no. There's only a certain number of domain names, and then all the URLs will eventually get taken up. But back when they invented it, they thought they'll never get to that number because it's almost pretty much infinite. But there is an there is a number to how many website pages like domain names. For instance, each YouTube video we would upload or someone would upload would have its own unique domain. To get so, to that video, the link itself for each page, each creation. So eventually creation. you won't be able to. Eventually, it'll supposedly. <laughs> well, there's people. <laughs> there's people working on it. They're making it bigger, but it's the problem is it's growing so fast that you can't keep up with how it's growing. I think so anyway. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I'm right here. I I've, need to I've research used, this. It's an interesting thing that people must. <gasps> Can you check it? It may not be now. It may not even be a hundred years, but eventually it might be in fifty years. I don't actually know. How many? domain names are created per day do you think i'm sure that you can find out there's per domain all about that question that's how many domains there that's are every day that's really scary shall we find out billions <gasps> it just turned to zero 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 o'clock well there you go oh. and that brings us to the end of conversation time we'll really? see you next time on conversation time on conversation time <laughs> that's Doo -doo 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 <laughs> <laughs> like that. Her no. The thing is, we can fix our battery Needed. problems, but I don't know what we're going to do about our internet okay. problems. Okay, are you ready? I've googled the question. Okay, let's find out the answer. This is the ending clip of conversation time here. No, what? Wait, let's see. Would you like to know how many websites are created? Yeah, okay. 300 to 500 per minute. Yeah, so there's many trillions in a day. Oh. Obviously, I don't know. But when how, you consider how many humans are in the world, that's not I, that many. I don't know how valid this information is. Yeah, well, you never know how much valid, how valid, what? I can't speak.